the movie opens with a group of friends on the beach, and then, at a bar as they have lots of fun, Skylar shows her engagement ring. We cut to the wedding, and Jack is putting on his tie and it's Tommy, who's holding the camera. He's filming the venue of the wedding, and surprisingly, Jack pulls down Tommy's pants, and this makes the couple give weird looks as Tommy waves to them. Jack then takes the camera and salutes Dan for getting married. They find Lauren, who is late with the wedding dress, and she gives the couple advice as she walks away quickly. Tommy films Dan in the bathroom and they talk about relationships and that's when Dan tells Tommy to find a woman and settle down. Tommy makes fun of him for joining a church and Mr. Chapman, Skylar's dad, walks out of the toilet and they get nervous. The whale gang was helping with last minute setups on the table and Tommy sets up the camera because everyone was there and the wedding can begin. He then walks out with Lauren and Jack and Allison and Dan with his mom, and finally Skylar comes out with her dad. They arrive at the altar, and they both say their I do's, while the audience claps and cheers. Tommy goes around filming and meets Ashton and tries to talk to her, but she walks away. Everyone prays as Tommy films them, and they then dance and kiss as everyone was enjoying themselves. Jack gives a speech about Dan, telling him that he wants to marry Skylar, and everyone claps at the end. The cake comes out and they cut it, and the party continues and everyone dances. Allison looks sad when Tommy sits next to her and asks why she's sad. They look at the parents dancing, and she tells him that she's upset because Jack hasn't asked her to get married yet. When Skylar throws the bouquet directly to Allison, Jack looked a bit nervous. He catches Allison before she steps onto the elevator and asks her if everything was okay. She was feeling kind of upset with the way he reacted before, and when Tommy came with the camera, Jack stops him, and in that commotion, Allison gets on the elevator. Tommy finds Skylar's parents and asks them their secret to a long marriage, and they tell the camera that the wedding was perfect, and all of a sudden the lights flicker and Mr. Chapman falls over and so does his wife. The door opens and Tommy screams for help, but the rest of the wedding is also in chaos. He didn't know what was going on as he runs down the stairs, and many people pass out and their eyes don't really look normal. Here we see that Skylar was with Lauren who was passed out. Jack gets up from two passed out people, and Tommy tells Jack about Skylar's parents without her knowing, but she overhears them talking, so Tommy had to tell her about them. Something rocked the ground and made a loud noise. Tommy and Jack run outside and the sirens are wailing, and Tommy films as objects come down on the city from the sky. A plane comes crashing down right in front of them, and they run back inside as an earthquake hits. They run down the stairs as the house starts falling apart, and then a loud noise comes from the sky, sounding almost like a trumpet, so loud that it even hurts to hear it. At this point, they needed to find Allison, and when they checked their phones, there was no service, but Allison had sent a text telling Tommy where she was. When Tommy looks outside, lightning comes crashing down, and Jack pulls him back as the windows break. The world has descended into chaos, and people are running everywhere, and cars are on fire. The group runs down the street, and they have no idea what's happening, and Dan thinks that it might be aliens. Skylar thinks that she knows what's going on, and Jack says that she's crazy because she thinks that it's the biblical end of the world. Something falls in front of them, and Tommy picks it up, and it's a huge ball of ice. That's when the hailstorm starts raining down, and they run away trying to avoid the hailstones. They make it inside a store, but Skylar couldn't be found. Dan and Tommy go to look for her, and when they split up, Tommy meets Sam but runs off when he sees Skylar as she was looking for a Bible to prove that she was right. She digs through a pile of books, and Jack comes back saying that the storm has passed, and Sam gives a Bible to Skylar as she reads the chapter and verse where it talks about the exact events that have been happening all around them. Dan then confronts her because she did everything by the book, but she was left behind like everybody else. Jack wanted to go find Allison, and Tommy tells him that she might be at the church. Jack didn't really know that she even goes to church, and Skylar tells Jack that Allison goes to 
church every time they get into a fight and he's pretty surprised to hear this. He walks out to the church despite Skylar saying that they should stay and Tommy convinces her that they should go and Sam also agrees and she joins the group. Skylar still doesn't agree but she goes along anyways. As they walk through the street with heavy rain and trees on fire, another blaring of the trumpets echoes through the sky. They keep walking and find a plane. The rain stops but they were still walking to the church and a horse carriage walks by with someone passed out on it. Skylar was praying but the rest tell her to keep going but they hear another sound and it's not as loud as before but it feels like something may be coming. They hear something fly by them but they can't see anything. There's something in the trees but it was so fast and it snatches Skylar out of Dan's arms. As Skylar screams out for Dan, as something drops her from above, they run over her and she's injured on the back. Dan carries her and they go to the church and Jack bangs on the door. Pastor Shea opens the door and lets them in and Sam has the Bible but it seems burnt. They then all go into the sanctuary and Tom introduces everyone to the pastor. Jack finds Allison and she's glad to see him. He then goes on to tell her that everyone else is gone. Skylar was badly hurt and Nurse Rachel was going to clean out the wound so Dan holds Skylar close. The pain was very bad but Dan talks her through it as Rachel resets her shoulders. Shay was playing the piano when Tommy asked him if he knew what was going on and he nods and says yes and then talks about the rupture, but Tommy doesn't believe him. Shay then tells him that God is taking the believers to heaven and leaving the rest on earth. But when Shay asks Tommy what he thinks attacked Skylar, he says aliens and then makes Shay laugh. The church bell rings and someone tells the pastor that there are more survivors coming and one of them is pregnant. Shay runs down to find the pregnant woman with Nurse Rachel as the lady was giving birth. When the mother asks to hold her baby, Rachel looks uneasy when handing it to her and she cries when she realizes that the baby is gone. Shay takes Tommy to the basement to bury the baby and then he tells Tommy the baby didn't die but God took his soul instead. Shay Jay also tells Tommy that he didn't believe enough even though he's a pastor. Tommy was watching the video of the wedding when Jack comes over and they talk about what they should do next. Jack wants to stay here until they figure something out but Tommy thinks that they should keep moving. This is when they hear something knocking around outside and it seems big and powerful. It knocks around the church, even hitting the windows. Tommy records himself and wants to express something to Allison, but when Sam comes by with her phone out, it makes him stop. Sam convinces him to record him on her phone, telling Allison about his feelings for her, and everyone watches the news reporting on what's happening, and the news labels it Instant Death Syndrome, and it shows it happening across the world. Jack apologizes to Allison for fighting with her, and then she decides to forgive him. Sam was watching a video on her phone of her mom's birthday, and Tommy asks her why she wasn't taken, and she tells him that even though she's a good person, she didn't really go to church. The news shows that there are more storms on the way and Dan was taking care of Skylar who seems to be getting worse. Allison and Jack were having a romantic moment when Jack was about to ask Allison to marry him. Tommy interrupts them and shows them a video and Shay also walks in and they watch the footage. Shay says some scripture and they see something taking her in slow motion. Shay then tells them that it's one of the fallen that took Skylar and it's only going to get worse. Skylar panics and tries to run off, but Dan keeps her down. Rachel then tells Dan that she has antibiotics in her car and Jack volunteers to go with him, but Tommy was the one who goes instead. Dan and Tommy run out to find the car and hear a noise and they then find the car using the keys and jump inside looking for the meds. As soon as Dan finds the drugs, something slams onto the car and they try to be quiet. It smashes the roof of the car and the man outside distracts the monster and the boys run and they make it inside and hand Rachel the medication. Tommy grabs his camera and asks Allison to say something on the video and then he points it to Jack and asks him if he loves Allison and about not marrying her in 7 years. Jack then takes the camera and tells Tommy to say what he really wants 
wants to say while pushing him and Tommy lets it out and he tells Allison that he loves her and Allison had to break up the fight between the two and Jack storms off calling Tommy an idiot. An emergency alert comes on the screen and tells everyone to stay inside after dark and when Rachel checks Skylar's wounds they've gotten worse and she tells everyone that there's nothing she can do to her anymore and Dan wants to take Skylar to the hospital but they convince him to stay inside till dawn. Shay tells Tommy that the rapture is over but to not give up hope yet because God still loves everyone and Tommy needs to make a choice about it. Shay goes to the sanctuary and preaches to them from his heart for the very first time in his life and then something knocks outside. The fallen were going to break the doors so everyone rushes to the basement. Inside the basement Rachel was missing as she was still outside the door and Jack opens it for her and she runs to the door but the monster catches her and drags her away. This is when Shay realizes that he must sacrifice himself for everyone's safety and he opens the door and gets taken away. In the morning the fallen seem to be gone and when everyone goes back up the church was completely destroyed. They go outside and see total anarchy with cars and helicopters crashed and burned. When they reach the hospital it was filled with people but no one was working. They find a nurse but she tells them to go to a relief center inside and when they put Skylar on the bed she is in bad shape and Jack and Tommy go upstairs to look for supplies. Jack gets tackled by a man who takes some of his stuff and they walk down the dark hall and see people taken. Allison hears something and she gets up to look and Jack and Tommy hear the same thing as well. They go out to the hall to see what it was but they only find more taken people. Skylar wakes up and Dan was there next to her and she tells him that she forgives him for everything and she says that she sees a light and passes away in his arms. Allison prays next to Skylar's body and Dan gets angry for her praying to a god who would let this happen and he throws something to the ground and storms off. Allison confesses to the camera that she was wrong for not fully believing in god and Tommy then spots Dan outside screaming out to god that he hates him and just like that one of the fallen snatches him from the ground. Allison was still talking but Sam spots something in the camera behind Allison and the boys come running and couldn't find Allison. Tommy finds the phone and sees the recording of the monster taking the girls and Allison was in the corner in a bad condition and Sam was fine. Jack holds Allison's body as he cries but Tommy tries to get him to leave and that's when he jumps on him saying that there's nothing left for him anymore so Tommy says that he'll stay with him. That night three of them walk out into the wasteland of the city looking for a relief center. They find groups of people headed the same way and they find the military center and they were welcomed by people there. Sam shows Tommy and Jack the video of Allison talking about how she found faith in those difficult times and Tommy finally figures out that the fallen are attached to fate and they'll come unless they're stopped by a display of faith. Tommy then finds Jack getting baptized but the fallen take him instantly too and that's when chaos erupts. Sam and Tommy finally accept that they need to believe to be saved even if they become victims of the fallen just like Allison and Jack. And that's when the sky opens and thousands of demons come flying out to take every disbeliever.